Good afternoon, y'all. I am here back and we are doing another video this weekend. This time we are doing a chili lime smoked chicken. It's going to be a whole chicken. We're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the marinade and then we'll come back in a couple hours and we'll go ahead and throw it on the smoker and get it all smoking and it should be ready just in time for dinner. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, we are back. In this video, in this section of the video, I'm going to show you how to make the marinade for your chicken. What I've got here is a whole chicken. I put it in a gallon Ziploc baggie. Okay, just to make it easy and, and, and easy to handle. We're going to take about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. And it pours slow, it pours slow, that's okay. All right, we've got about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. We're, we're gonna take that. We're gonna open up this bag. And we're going to throw this olive oil in there. All right, next we're going to put one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Whoops, my apple cider vinegar is not open and I thought it was. So now you get to watch me struggle to open up a bottle of vinegar. There we go. We will be doing one, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Dump that on in there, just like that. Now we're going to be doing two tablespoons of lime juice. Man, what the hell is going on with all my all right, I'm back. Had a little bit of a battery issue there. Uh, anyway, we are going to put, I already did that, two tablespoons of the lime juice in. I don't know if y'all caught that or not. Two tablespoons of apple, of apple cider vinegar and a quarter cup or four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of lime juice left in there still. Dump that in there. All right. Now we're going to do approximately one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. Dump that in there. One teaspoon of garlic powder, or onion powder, my bad. One teaspoon of onion powder. Dump that in there. Put that back on. One teaspoon of garlic powder. like that. A little bit of ground black pepper. Just like that. And I bet this chili powder is not open. No, it's not. All right. Maybe next time I'll be a little bit more prepared. I'm going to count on it. All right, we're going to do three teaspoons of chili powder. All right, we'll do two and a half. Just like that. All 
We're going to close this Ziploc bag back up. Sure, it's all nice and closed. We're going to mix everything all around. I probably should have mixed this marinade before I put it in the chicken, but yeah, well, live and learn, right? Just make sure it gets all mixed up well and good all, all in there, just like that. It's going to give that chicken a nice good coating all over the whole chicken. It's going to give it a nice good color. It's going to be awesome. All right. I don't know if you can see that. Is that going to Yeah, you can see how it's getting that coating all over that chicken. That almost doesn't seem like enough liquids to me. So I am going to go ahead and put a little bit more lime juice in there. Just a little squirty squirt squirt squirt, just like that. Oh yeah, man, that smells good. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hungry. This, this is gonna be ready probably just about the end of the Cowboys game. So, go Cowboys, huh? All right. There we go. We got some good liquid moving around in there now. We got some good coating going on on our chicken right there. Just like that. All right, now all we're gonna do is gonna put this in the refrigerator for about two hours. After about two hours, we're gonna go ahead and, in the meantime, get our smoker fired up and ready to go. And then we're going to, after two hours, we're going to stick this chicken on that smoker. And I'll, I'll walk you all through that whole process of doing that whole thing. Uh, I'll see you guys in about two hours. We have got the chicken out of the smoker. It's been on for a little over, oh, I don't know, three, three and a half hours. It has reached the internal temperature of 165, 170, and it's held that for a long time. My long time, I mean 30 to 45 minutes. That way I know that there aren't any nasty little anti, uh, nasty bacterias or anything like that in there. Uh, we are good to go with this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this chicken up and I'm going to show you what we have going on here. I've got this nice crusty look on the outside of the chicken. On the other side, I've got my nice even grill marks there. We're going to go ahead and open up just a little bit of this and see what we have going on. It's very juicy. It's very, very tender. That knife is just cutting through that chicken like butter. It's almost pulling apart. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you see that right there? Alright. And I'm now going to give you a taste. That is really good. I'll go ahead and slice a piece right off of here, off of this thigh. see the skin right there that's actually really hot you can see how moist and juicy that is can you see that moist and juicy got the skin still on there a little bit with that oh that is delicious oh my goodness mmm 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 y'all that is absolutely Amazing. That's fantastic. Excuse me while I finish the rest of this. Mmm. 
Mm mm mm. That is fantastic. Anyway, y'all, this has been another episode of Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And feel free to share the heck out of this video. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Good night.